as we are all aware, the industry is going through a very exciting times these days because of the recent demonetization move by the government and implementation of GST just around the corner. In view of this background, budget of 2017-18 is going to be announced on 1st of February 2017. The industry expects that government will take some key measures to give necessary fillip and stimulus to the economy which is presently going through a temporary slowdown because of the demonetization move and lack of demand. Today I am going to talk about budget expectations of two key sectors which is real estate sector and information technology sector. The real estate sector which is already crippling through low demand and low con consumer confidence is going to be hit badly because of the demonetization temporarily because of restriction in circulation of black money which was much significant in the real estate sector. To regain the consumer confidence and to give the necessary stimulus to the real estate sector, the sector wants that firstly the government should allow minimum 4 lakh rupees reduction in respect of interest paid by an individual on home loans taken for self-use. Presently the limit is only 2 lakh rupees but the price, considering the price levels in tier 2 and tier 3 cities and amount of loan required this limit is very inadequate. The second expectation is on 31st December 2016 Honorable Prime Minister of India announced a very good initiative about interest state subsidy on loans taken below 12 lakh rupees and below 9 lakh rupees. Interest state subsidy of 3% is given to loans up to 12 lakh rupees and 4% is given on loans up to 9 lakh rupees in urban sector. Considering the price levels, this subsidy should be allowed at least on loans up to 20 lakh rupees maybe the rebate can be a bit lower say 2% the real estate industry has been demanding the industry status for a long time which will make easier availability of funds at a lower cost to the developers and it will bring down the cost of homes considerably the government should consider this request and grant an industry status to construction development in real estate sector. At the same time, the government should also list down some eligibility norms for developers to qualify for this scheme. The eligibility norms should be based on the past performance, capitalization and other key performance parameters of real estate developers so that incompetent and non-serious players can be weeded out of the real estate industry. Presently, stamp duty rates are pretty high and these are not uniform across all over India. We are all aware that stamp duty is a state subject but the centre should bring in some legislative amendment for bringing in uniformity into the stamp duty rates and also lowering it so that it will not only bring down the level of burden on home buyers but also ensure better compliance. Lastly, the government should increase its budgetary allocation on infrastructure spending for improving connectivity of Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. By making this infrastructure spending, the government will not only improve the real estate of these Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities but also reduce the burden on the metro cities which is currently increasing by day after another. Second key sector about which I am going to talk about is information technology sector. We are all aware that information technology is the future of the world. In view of this and considering that India is a service economy a large portion of that is dependent on the information technology sector and the youth who are employed in the information technology sector. 
the IT sector wants some specific tax reliefs from the government. Firstly, there is a weighted deduction allowed to certain industries including biotechnology industry about research and development expenditure incurred by such companies. The IT sector and software development companies are not eligible for this weighted deduction under section 35 to AB. The sector wants that IT industry should be covered under this provision of weighted deduction. Secondly, IT sector requires a lot of skill development of its employees and significant expenditure is incurred on such skill development. Presently, there is weighted deduction allowed to certain specified industries on skill development. IT sector wants that software, de uh, software development company should also be covered for this. Further, presently there is anomaly in the definition of export turnover and total turnover for IT companies which are into export of software development services. The term total turnover is not defined in the act. The sector wants that the term total turnover be defined in the Income Tax Act and it should be in parity with definition of export turnover so that any company which is into 100% export of software development services should be eligible to claim a 100% deduction on its profits. In the last budget, the government restricted the rate of depreciation in respect of all assets to 40%. Earlier, computer and computer software used by companies were eligible for a higher rate of depreciation of 60%. The sector expects this, this earlier higher rate of depreciation of 60% be retained for IT sector because of the high degree of obsolescence of computer and computer software which is be, being used extensively in this industry.